Hi there, Fall Creek Intermediate 6th grade students. Uh, my name is Mr. Wirtz. I'm the orchestra teacher here at Fall Creek Intermediate as well as across the street at Fall Creek Junior High. And today we're here to talk to you about the string instruments, what they sound like, what experience you might have in orchestra, band, or choir next year. And uh, you already saw a video by Mr. Spidell kind of giving you some of the outlines of everything. So I'm here today specifically to talk to you about the string world. Um, I want to let you know before we start that any student, no matter what their ability, there is a place for you. We have beginning ensembles in both, in all three, band, choir, and orchestra. So if you have zero music experience, there is a place for you. So I want to start today by talking about these fantastic instruments back here. Now when we talk about the string world, we're, we are talking about classical string music, or classical string instruments. So guitar and piano and hammer dulcimer and banjo and ukulele, all those things are string instruments, but they're not part of the orchestra classical music string instrument. So when we're talking about string instruments in orchestra, we're talking about violin, viola, cello, and bass. And I wanna give you a demonstration of what all four of those instruments sound like today. The first instrument we have here is the highest instrument in the string family. This is called the violin. The violin is a very small, uh, it's played on our shoulder when we play in position like that. It's the smallest of the instruments, it's also the highest pitch of the instruments as well. Um, I like to talk about these instruments and describe them to people who maybe don't know about them, how they sound, relating them to color. Like, you know, color has a brightness, has a depth, has a uh, quality. Well, so does the sound of these instruments. So uh, I find that that helps relate the sound to people who maybe don't know so much about these instruments. So the violin, it's very bright, it's very happy, it's very light. I like to think that the violin has kind of a yellow sound. So here's what a violin sounds like. Has that very light and bright sound. So here is the violin. The next instrument we have uh, is called the viola. The viola looks an awful lot like the violin, but there are some big differences. For one, the viola is a little bit bigger, uh, wider, and uh, longer. It's also thicker, and that bigger, thicker, longer sound, uh, body of this instrument creates a deeper, darker tone. So the viola, I like to compare to the color purple as a deep, dark, rich tone. Uh, when a composer wants to write maybe more sentimental sound or something that sounds a little bit more mysterious or lovely or sad, they'll use the viola to play that melody. So here's a demonstration of what the viola sounds like. And the lowest part of the viola kind of sounds like this. that deep dark tone. This is the viola. The next instrument we have here is called the cello. This is the higher version of the low string. So the cello and right behind me the bass are the two low string instruments. We call them low strings because they read bass clef and they play the lower pitched in, uh, notes inside of the orchestra. Um, the cello is played sitting down, always sitting down between your knees and into your body. I like to think that the cello is a very huggable instrument, very inside your personal space. You get very close to your cello. Um, and this may look big. This may look uh, like a really large, it is large, but it may look heavy, but it's not heavy. These instruments are made with very thin pieces of wood and they're hollow on the inside. So this cello maybe weighs 10 to 15 pounds at most. Um, so it's not very 
heavy, it's just large. Now, those of you who choose to play the cello or the bass, you will have a school instrument that you will play while you're at school, and then you guys will be getting your own instrument that you keep at home, so you will not need to bring this back and forth to school. Um, I like to think that the cello has a very uh, interesting sound because they're, the low end of the cello is very deep and dark, and the high end of the cello is very bright and heroic. So I like to think that the cello, I like to compare it to the color blue. You have dark blue, like a dark deep navy blue on the bottom, and then you have kind of a bright kind of sound on the top. So here's the sound of the cello, that bright kind of heroic sound. Kind of has that deeper, darker sound, but also the high end has a nice low sound. The low end sounds like this. stuff sounds like this. So that is the sound of the cello. Our last instrument is the bass and this is the uh, a very big instrument. You can play, uh, mostly people play it while they're standing up or sitting down on a stool. The bass provides the lowest note in the orchestra, and the bass, uh, in my mind, the bass has a very deep, dark, rich sound, kind of like a forest green or a dark chocolate, kind of very rich and full and deep. The lowest note in the orchestra sounds like this. That's our low G. And the rest of the bass sounds like this. sound of the bass played with the bow. Now all of these instruments I've demonstrated so far, I've played with the bow. They also can be played by playing something called pizzicato, which is the fancy Italian word for plucked. So pizzicato is what the bass is probably most known for in jazz or things like this. And that sounds like this. what pizzicato sounds like on the bass. So those are all four of the string instruments. All of them are available to you next year if you're interested in playing them. Uh, there's beginning ensembles for band, choir, and orchestra where no experience is required. We will teach you from the very beginning all the way up. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and I hope to see you guys next year. Thank you.